Hi, how are you doing? I hear you like no nonsense nonsense. Well, I've got a bit of a red line on my hand. Not too sure why that's there. Anyway, I hear you like no nonsense nonsense videos, and that is why you're here. Also, my accent is a little less regional than everybody else that lives in my area. I hear a lot of people do this sort of thing. They change their accent a little bit. And uh, shall we maybe talk like everybody else does in this area? Okay, hello. How are you doing? Here we have pancake. What are you doing then today, pancake? Are you gonna go to sleep? The accents people talking around here isn't quite exactly like what I was doing, but more or less, uh, maybe a little posher. Anyway, let's stop with this regional accent nonsense because it's a bit poo. So let's get on with whatever else we were talking about, shall we? Okay then. For some reason, talking like this sort of reminds me of Keith Lemon. And most of you are probably not familiar with Keith Lemon unless you're from the UK. Anyway, that is a bit of the no-nonsense nonsense part of the video out of the way with. Now I'll start talking like I usually do. And this is how I usually do. It's sort of a telephone voice, I'll be honest. Anyway, let's get on with this. This is what we're going to be doing today. We are, I am going to be doing some Thing with this and this thing right here which is a double barreled shotgun wow i didn't even know there was a minus and plus sign down there cool that is where the batteries go so this right here is what this looks like when it's complete and uh, inside there goes some stuff and there has been some stuff in there since the last time i used this and i did use it before emptying it out and it tasted like rust which was nice and quite the experience. Also, I don't recommend it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the inside of this and I'm gonna refill it. And then we can carry on with the rest of this video. If you know how, you can skip forward if you want, but you might miss something. If you don't know how to skip forward, just type in the comments complaining about how I talk too much. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this off and this is now gonna be changed. So twisty, twisty and that's the bottom of it. And then we've got this glass piece. And then this part right here is the part that's going to be changed. And this one is the new one. And there we have it. So we've got the old one and we've got the new one. And the new one's a little different to the old one, but it should do the same thing. All right, so same thing again, but this time in reverse. And the new one goes right there. And then what I'll do is just prime the coil with some stuff. Right, so that should be good enough. Now this is gonna go on there and I can hear the cats making a noise downstairs, which is, I'm guessing it's probably Pancake running around. And then this goes on like that. By the way, I'm doing this entirely back to front. So I'm gonna put some of this down there. Right, so that should be good enough. And now this goes on like that. Entirely back to front. Down there like that. And I don't need to do that now because I've already filled it up. Let's just say it's been a while and then you insert your cartridges. And now, turn it on, and there we are. Right, so the camera is now focused there. And now we have vapor. And now what we have is this. So you can probably see where this video is going now if the thumbnail for it didn't give it away. I've already plugged this into the back of the amp, but I haven't turned the amp on, so let's turn that on. And how about we also use a bit of, I don't know, maybe Winamp? Anybody know of any simple alternatives to Winamp? Let me know. I'd like to try them out. I think I've probably used Winamp since it was available. Anyway, let's see if the speaker works. What shall we play? Anything? Okay. How about a bit of Cypress Hill? Right, so it works, but what I'm gonna do is low pass. This right here is a speaker that is connected to the side of the box, but as far as music goes, it doesn't really matter too much what music I play, so long as there's a bit of bass to move the speaker. And what I've got loaded up right there is Justin Timberlake. And uh, Timberlake's tracks are produced by Timberland. So there's quite a bit of bass in the beats, which should move the speaker. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna fill this up with as much vapor as I can. Using this, then I'll put some bass through the speaker and we'll see what happens. Now I tried this two years ago with a five inch speaker and a tube connected to the speaker, sort of a drain pipe sort of thing, just to see if I could get donuts 
uh, rings, smoke rings, coming out of the uh, tube. Didn't work, which is why you don't know about it. So yeah, anyway, time to fill this up with vapour. Also, I filled this up a little more. Okay, so right there we've got a bit of vapour. So what I'll do now is I'll play some music. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Nothing. All right, so we've got some more bubblegum vapour and let's try again. Well, I've got a smoke ring coming out of the pot, which was nice. Let's try this again. Barely anything. And we have some more bubble gum vapor. Apart from the initial smoke ring that pops out of this, there's nothing else spectacular that happens. In fact, that's not even spectacular. By the way, this right here is bubblegum flavour, so I'm quite enjoying this. Right, let's see if that smoke ring comes out of the port again. Oh great, I just... Uh. Alright, so let's try this again. This time I'm not facing it when I'm talking. Yep, another sort of smoke ring. What I'll do is I'll reposition the camera so you can sort of see the ring appear. It doesn't stay as a ring, but it's sort of a ring. And uh, yeah, we'll see if you can see it. If you can see it, let me know. If you can't see it, then... Actually, I'll probably see it before you see it, so you don't have to tell me. Three, two, one. And... Sort of. I need to position the camera a little more upwards. Let's lower it a bit. And tilt it up like that. All right, so we'll see if this makes any difference. And here we go. Ooh. All right, so one more time. That one wasn't quite a ring. Let me do that again. No, not really. Sort of. It's going to be difficult to see, so I'm not going to bother doing that. And again, because I'm bored. So I'll put some more vapour on this and I'll play the track. And take a look around here, you'll be able to see where the air leaks are. And now I've got this on my desk. Moves quite nicely. And now to fill it with vapour just because boredom. Also, he says... Right then, let's see what happens. I've just turned down the exposure a little bit.
All right, try it again from this angle. Absolutely nothing happened. Right, so there you go. Now you know, whoa, that's a bit zoomed in. Now you know what vapor does on top of a speaker. Barely anything. So what I'm gonna do now is leave you because I've got stuff to do. Hopefully this was a short video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>